In 90 seconds, you're going to know more about EPOC, also called excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Elevated oxygen consumption, even though performance and exercise has just finished. So what does this look like? If we take the red line as exercise intensity, we start at rest, it spikes, and then we sustain that exercise, for example, a run, until we stop completely and it remains at rest. Well, our oxygen consumption doesn't match this line. Instead, we have this slow lag until it begins to meet demands, and then we have a slow and overconsumption despite our exercise intensity dropping. Only then does it start to flatten out towards, or as we get further and further into rest. This zone here is known as our oxygen debt or oxygen deficit. We have started exercise, we have oxygen demands around the body, but our respiratory and cardiovascular systems haven't yet caught up with our moving body. So in lieu of this, or in, in, the, in the absence of oxygen, our body for this first period of exercise, we have to use anaerobic energy pathways. And anaerobic energy pathways we know produces lactic acid, LA, lactic acid. So when we finish moving, we finish exercising, we've got this surplus of oxygen consumption, this excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Why? To resaturate all of our muscles and mitochondria with oxygen, but also to start and continue the breakdown and removal of lactic acid. That's EPOC, and that is your knowledge in 90 seconds. See you later.